today is um, February 8th, 2022. Judy Lecky twerking with Clay. Say your full name out loud. Fred Clay Roberts. Two more times. Fred Clay Roberts. Fred Clay Roberts. Okay. Your mom started chatting with me early this morning. I told her to go away. Wait her turn. Good. <laughs> I had other things I had to do. You know, I just got back from a rushed L.A. trip to do a Conscious Life Expo there. And wow. So I'm like, wait, one, one, one person at a time. I so you have a brother. Yes. I did not know this. She's telling me you have a brother, and he used to live with her, but there's yeah. something not right about him, but I don't hear exactly what she means by that. She has concerns over him, not you. You're good. You're fine. She doesn't worry about you. She worries about him. What's wrong with him? He had... Anger. A... Oh, she says he's angry. Why? Um, good. I'm glad she knows he's angry. She does now. I don't know if she did before, but well, she's telling um, me he's angry. He had a stroke, and he had a really bad drinking problem. Oh. And I couldn't, and he was living with her when yeah. my dad died. He moved in, which was great, because then she wouldn't be alone. Okay. Then I sold my house and moved in with her to go until I could find a new place to live. And she asked me not to leave. Oh. And I didn't want to be a 58-year-old man living with my mother, but I couldn't say no. Yeah. And I'm glad I didn't. What, was he angry when he got drunk? Not really, but he had a stroke. But there's something that she said that scared her. That's why she wanted you to stay. So was she worried he was going to stroke out again or have other health problems? Something that scared her. Yeah, she's saying she wanted I'll you to stay because she was afraid. I'll bet it was the drinking. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Was he an angry drunk? Not really. Okay, but she's saying she she liked you being there because she was scared with just him. Yeah. He had no control. Alcoholism runs in the family both sides, she says. Yes. Both sides. So she's telling me a lot of it, not a little. Both sides. She she even drank, she yeah. said. Um, but not to the extent that your this brother, this brother drank out of control. Correct. She didn't seem to know how to motivate him, how to help him. Yes. She couldn't, she told me she couldn't do any of that. So she worries. Who's going to take care of him? So do I. And he had a stroke. And he has like no, it's like he doesn't care about life. Oh, and I couldn't tell, that's the impression I get. Yeah. And I'll, I'm going to explain it to you. I couldn't tell, he's had some mental issues since his stroke, but I couldn't tell what part of him was a drunk and what part were the mental issues. Oh. And I was an alcoholic. I know. And I haven't had a drink in almost three years. Yeah, good for you. And that's, later on, I want to tell you about that. God just... Yeah, but see, and, he's not there. And so I got him to start going to AA with me, and he I got him off the booze. Okay. So then I was able to see more clear what his problem is. I'm not a doctor. I think he's severely depressed. He has no motivation to do Your anything. Your mom's saying yes, and for years... I, yes. She says for years. Yes. And that's and why he drank. And he was gay. Oh. Or he still is gay. Yeah, I don't think that But changes. he's always kind of beat to a different drum. Yeah. You know, he's never flowed with life. Yeah. But she's saying he's yeah. been depressed. She thinks since teenager. Yes, I think so too. Yeah. She told me since he was a teenager, she thinks. And she thinks that's the drinking to hide the depression. Or to compensate for it. Now she says to hide it. Yeah. And yeah. I met with him the other day and I said, I really want to get you help for depression. He goes, I don't need help for depression. But he has no motivation to do anything. No, no. And I think sometimes people that are depressed don't always get that they are. No. And he has no zest for life at all. He works? No, he got fired. Oh, okay. And since he got fired... She's he saying said, he needs to work. <laughs> he does. She says he needs to work. He needs to get a job. Yeah. I'm going to just grab a blanket. I'm chilly. Coming back from L.A., I've been cold. Um, 
she she's she's worried because she doesn't know what's going to become of him. And do you still live there? I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Okay. But you're not wanting to? No, I would want to live there really bad. Oh, now you do. Okay. Uh, no, I, yeah. Okay. Oh. She just worries about him. She, she says, you're getting your life together. And so she's proud of you because you quit the drinking, you've got a job, you're getting your life together. You're trying to find what makes you happy. She says, you're trying to find that. You're trying to repair things. Whereas he has no desires. And your mom says she feels like it's her and your dad's fault that he was depressed and drinks and they never knew how to help him. I don't think it was their fault. I'm just telling you what she know, says. You can say whatever. I'm trying to sympathize with you, Mom. But the problem is, is I I don't I don't know that it's I, I wouldn't blame anything. I, I you know I think people come in here to have experiences, and it's their choice in how they choose to experience life. You know, your mom's happy. She's with her your dad. She's been with friends. She had a friend she brought to me that I can't hear her name, um, but she's with her. I know who it is. You know who oh, she's talking well, about. Dottie. Dottie, yes, that's right. And she's saying she's been very happy to see her. Um, she says to tell you no more aches and pains, no more clouds in her head, foggy. She was getting brain foggy. And she goes, none of that. She's good now. Where's your daughter? How old's your daughter? She's almost 25. Wow. 24. Is she getting married? She got married. Was your your mom missed it? No. She, she was there yes. for it? She's talking about married. She got married. Oh, yeah. She's showing me happy because she stayed around for that. And yes. then she died not long after that. Yes. She stayed, forced herself to stay just for that wedding. It meant a lot to everybody, she says. Everybody. It did. Um, <laughs> That's so great. Ah, your mom's going to miss out on grandbabies, but that's to be expected. She watches over you. She still visits the house a lot. Tell her I can feel her. Yeah, she says you know. She says you know. Yeah, she visits a lot. She was peaceful there. Yeah. Where's the house located? Uh, Yale and I-25, basically. Okay. Holly Hills is what it's called. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, your mom was happy there. She was peaceful there, so she said that she still visits. <laughs> you read a lot? No. Who's reading? Who read? Who does the reading? I just started a book. That's what she's telling me. She's so <laughs> showing me that you're reading something, a book. Yes. Wow. So she how is can you say no? <laughs> she is visiting. She is. She's showing she me you sitting visiting. and reading. <laughs> Yeah, that was Sunday. Oh, okay. Well, that's what she's telling me. What are you reading? You familiar with Dr. Brian Weiss? Yes. I'm reading his second book. I have his books. I've read them. Yeah. No, that's funny. Yeah, she's showing me sitting in a in a chair, and you've got your legs crossed, and you're reading. Wow. I don't. I like to read, but my problem is I can't read at night because I'm too tired. Oh. So I have to read during the day. Yeah. And when I read, I enjoy it. I should read more. But yeah. Maybe as I Why are you so it, tired at night? Because I work hard during the day. and I'm getting What are you doing it. now? I work for my daughter called me up. She works for a pharmaceutical company. Oh, okay. We make morphine, ketamine. We make fentanyl. Wow. And we put in Just syringes. go buy them off the street. You won't have to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I know. <laughs> But my daughter called me up and said, we can't find good help. We really need some good help. Would you send me your resume? Yeah. And I'm trying to build this business, and I had money for my house. So I wasn't, I knew I had to get a job, but I wasn't... Desperate. Desperate, and I wanted to go what I'm good at, TV. But my daughter yeah. called me and said, you know, send me your resume. We need help. So I sent 
her my resume on Monday. On Wednesday, her company called me up and offered me a job. And she's pretty high up. Did you not company. interview? They just offered it? <laughs> yeah. I asked the lady, I go, so what am I going to be doing? And she goes, well, you know, I'm not really sure, but you have to pay attention to detail. I said, okay, I'll take it. And I took it more because I wanted to help my daughter's company. Oh. And you never, God just gave it to me. Yeah, because you didn't even interview. And you're, I, when I last time I said, when do you listen to God? And I thought, you know what? Something good is going to come out of this. Yeah. So I took it. Good. And I'm grateful I had it. But you're it happy now. there. I am. I feel it's like you're happy there. it's not my cup of tea. Well, that might be, but I feel like you're happy there. There's things you're learning, things you're teaching. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And that's why you're there. Yes. So what is it you actually do? I am in charge. I'm called a material handler. And and my boss says I uh, gather supplies for formulation. But my job is, it's not a warehouse, it's a big room where we keep all the stuff to make yeah. the drugs. And it's my job to organize that room. And it was not organized at all when I got there. And so to collect things for formulation, I pick all the shit they need to make the drugs the next day. (laughs) Oh, how funny. And then that's, so taking care of the warehouse, stocking it, keeping it organized, picking stuff for the drug we're going to make the next day. And then I fill orders to go out. That's my main thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I feel like it's good for you, though. I keep hearing it's good for you. I, I think so, for right now. It's That's not, what I'm hearing. It's, it's not, not your end-all, be-all. No, exactly. But it, for right now, I feel like it's good for you, and you may be there a couple of years. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah. That's what I'm, my plan is to be, I hope. Yeah, a couple of years, yeah. 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 And it's great, because I get to see my daughter almost every day. That is good. Which is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Your mom's just happy for you because your mom feels you're in a good space. Good. Yeah. So that makes her happy. You ski? Who skis? Oh, because she's talking about skiing. Are you not skiing? (laughs) She's watching over me. Yeah, I had a friend bought me a ski pass. And I went two weekends ago and I'm going this weekend. Okay, because she's talking about skiing. So... (laughs) Wow, she's watching. See, over I me. told you, she she's says she is. Me. She is. <laughs> she is. So you know, when she's coming up with reading and skiing, you're do, you're. She knows what she's you're doing. Watching me. Yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, she knows what you're doing. She feels you're tired at night, not because you work so hard during the day. It's physical work. You kind of got out of that for a while. Yeah, you did well, more computer stuff or something, or I worked at a TV station. And did you do computer stuff there or no, something? What were you no, doing on a machine or something? I was directing the news. I okay. was a director, and okay, you so sit in you, front of a. That's big why board. they're showing me yeah. a, a screen, and there's yeah. okay because you were sitting. Of buttons. Yeah. See, so she's showing me you used to sit all the time, and now you're up and moving, yes. and that's what's wearing you out. Cause you're actually more physical. Yes. Than you're used to being. Yes. And she says it's not your age. <laughs> it shouldn't be. I'm high energy and I'm a lot older. <laughs> but everybody's different. Everybody has different energy levels. <sighs> okay. She's showing me a swimming pool. Who? What's a swimming pool got to do with anything? Do you have a swimming pool? Do you swim? I love to swim, but I haven't swam in a long time. Yeah, okay. She's got to be talking about the swimming. swimming I don't know. Do you need to go swim to get some steam out or something? Think about that one. She's showing me a swimming pool. Did you do laps at some point? Years ago. She's talking about that. That was a long time. Okay. Well, she's just bringing it up to let you know that (laughs) this is her. And I like to scuba dive. Which I haven't done. She in didn't a long bring time. that up. She's okay, showing me so a pool cool. with you doing laps. Wow. I don't know whether she watched you do it, or you talked to her alive, about it. I haven't done swam since she left. No, but she's she's reflecting. Huh. She's reflecting on your past to let you know she's here. <laughs> okay. Sometimes they just bring up crazy stuff. You know, I know what she's referring to. What? 
we had a pool right at the end of our block when I was a kid and grew up. And I went there every Because she's day. showing me she's watching you. Yeah. So I she must have gone I once think, in a while. I think that's what she, she's She's saying yes. To. That's what she's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Southmore Swimming Pool. Okay. She's telling me yes. She, Yeah. Yeah. She said you were a good swimmer. Yes. Yeah. Really good. She says you've always been very athletic when you were young. Yeah, but I'm not a good athlete. She didn't say you were a good athlete. She said yeah. you've always been athletic. Yeah. A big difference. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you know, you can't be good at everything, but you can, you can, you can can't be excellent at everything, but you can be good at a lot of different right. things. Right. Um, she said you enjoyed a lot of different things, so that's a good thing. Your daughter's happy, she tells me, and that makes her happy. So it makes your your mom super happy and excited because your daughter's happy. Your daughter wants a baby. She had a baby. Oh, so she's your mom's talking about a baby. Yeah. Okay, when did she have a baby? About, about oh, two weeks after she left. Oh, okay, well, your mom's just saying a baby. Yeah. So I assume she meant she wants one. She didn't say she had one. She yeah. just said a baby. Yeah. Oh. Your mom misses not being here for that. Sad that she wasn't here for that. But your daughter's happy about it. Is this a little girl? Boy. A boy. She told me a boy at first, and then I thought she met a girl. Okay, because here's what she's telling me. She's had this little boy in another lifetime as a girl. So your daughter has had this baby soul before. So there's a very strong connection there. But the last lifetime, it was a girl. This lifetime, it's a boy. Going to be a little stubborn. Okay. How old is he now? Got nine months. Maybe. Nine months. Okay. Gonna He's be born a little at the stubborn. End of July, so yeah, little little months. stubborn. <laughs> you spend much time with him? Not enough, but no. no not Your enough. mom's saying you should spend more time. They grow fast. Yeah. Your mom is saying blink and I, he'll be twelve. I know. I realize that, but I have. I'm divorced. His parents are divorced. His father's married to another lady who wouldn't... We were there on Halloween day for an early Halloween party, and she walked in and was like, Whoa! and the other mother's like, Whoa! my yeah. wife's like, Whoa! so I'm, I'm kind of going like this yeah. until he gets a little older. Then I'm going to swoop in. Yeah, <laughs> because it's really hard when all the women are right. mad at And, and yeah. he's the first one, so I'm kind of... Okay, yeah, that makes it really hard. Yeah. Your mom's just saying you got to get in there is what she's telling me but right. yeah you have any questions for your mom i do ask her oh. if she knows what's going on with the family what do you mean by that so i know how to ask it um and when you say the family okay. who are you talking about specifically My other brother you have another brother oh she didn't They're talk about twins. him she didn't talk about him this morning she only talked about the one in the house yeah no i didn't Who's know you had these siblings yeah I've got two older brothers that are twins. So the one in the house is older. But I've got two old, two brothers that are twins that are five years older than me. Okay, but he, the one in the house is a part of that. He's one yes, of the twins. He's one of the twins. Okay, tell me the other twin's name, the Mon first name. Monty. Monty. Clay, I don't like to say bad things, but I don't trust him. Go ahead and say bad things. I don't mean to, but your mom's telling me he's taking things. He's taking money and stuff. And so your mom didn't think that would ever happen, but she knew on some level it would. So your mom kind of knew, but hoped it wouldn't. Why is that? Do you want me to give you the details? Yeah. She put him in charge of her trust. Yeah, because he was the oldest. Well, he was actually the more responsible. He's yes. the same age as yes. the other Yes, but brother. the other one's a drunk, so right. yes, right. I get it. And he, since, since she has gone, he's been a complete asshole. She says he's not trustworthy, he's terrible, he's lying. Yeah. And he's, uh, t he tricked Mark to get 
my mom put in the trust that Mark can live in that house as long as he wants, as long as he paid the rent they agreed upon. Okay. And they tricked him to get him out of the house. They? His son and Monty. Okay. Okay. And once they got him out of the house, then they're forcing me out of the house. Okay, but you have to go by the will. But it doesn't say in the will that you have to sell the house. No, so, but if it says in the will that he can stay there right. as long as he wants, they had no right to get him out. That's right. All I know is your mom is very angry at him, disappointed in him. He wasn't supposed to be that way. That is But right. he's lying. That is right. He's lying. She feels he's stealing... She's really unhappy about Can this. Can I ask her who her life insurance company is? Yeah, but I don't know that I'd hear something that long. Or a hint? She had the policy in the house. And Monty, I'm sure, took it. Oh. She's telling me it's not in the drawer anymore. Yeah. So when somebody does that, who do you go? Who do you call? Judy. <laughs> no, because I'm not the police. No, I can't I, do anything. I there's to, gotta be somebody and I didn't want to give you too many details, but No, but there's gotta be somebody. And I just home. wanted to make sure she knew about it because she knows. She's not happy. Mark, me, my daughter, his daughter, both my brother Mark's daughters, we don't want anything to do with Bonnie anymore. And since she's gone, she's the family's breaking up. That's why uh, I said the family's breaking up. Okay. We don't want anything to do with that. Yeah, but here's the problem. You guys need to go. She's showing me court, like there's a court system or something. He had an attorney to make him follow the will. She had a will, a legal will. Right. She's saying just because he was the, the trustee in the will or whatever it is, you still have to follow it. I know. She's saying you guys can't fold. She's saying that we can't fold as a family. No, can't fold. You have to stand together and deal with it. Take care of it, fix it. So your brother actually moved out of the house already? They, and he, where I said he had mental problems? Yeah. I got a lawyer. Yeah. I spent $900 on a lawyer. And my lawyer's like, you do not leave the house. And I no. told Mark, whatever happens, you do not leave the house. We no. stay. Yes. And his son... And I was talking to someone, yeah, I'm here to take my dad out to breakfast. And instead of taking him to breakfast, took it to an assisted living place and said, you sign this lease, and if you don't, I'm your power of attorney, I will sign it. And all Mark had to say was no. And, and he, he didn't? didn't? Why? And they moved him in an assisted living place that cost $2,200 a month, and his whole apartment's about as big as your living room, right? This room right here. Yeah. And I tried, he, and then he said he was writing Monty a nasty letter, and I said move back in, because it, at the end of February, it's a month-to-month -month lease. Yes. Yeah. So, he... I went over and saw him, and he said he was going to move back in. And then a week later, he said, no, I'm making friends here. I want to stay. And what, and, um, But I don't think he can afford it. That's a big question. We don't, Monty is paying for it. Okay. And I don't know how Monty's getting the money, and Monty... That must be the ceiling that your mom's talking about. He's taking money out of the trust. He's got to be. Didn't and, your mom's she, will, wasn't it set up that when she died, people got so much? It, it Here's what was set up. Each grandchild got 5000 Monty gets 10000 I get 10000 Mark gets 10000 She loaned me some money to help save my house 12 years ago. Okay. And she said I was going to get like 6000 but I didn't get anything. And then... She supposedly left a sum of money, and she said that I would get three thousand dollars a month, and then it was fifteen hundred. But I don't know. But she spent the money, and so now Monty wants to sell the house because that's he wants what she the money. wanted. 
That's what, but it's set up that I'm just going to say if the house sells for six hundred thousand, I get two hundred. Mark gets two hundred. Monty gets two hundred. But we can only collect five percent of the interest because when she set up the will, she had enough money that that five percent. She didn't want to give us a big chunk of money. She wanted us to get money the rest of our lives. Yeah, monthly. But Monty won't. He's supposed to show us exactly what she has. So the executor, and he's not doing it. the executor's supposed to give a copy to show everybody yes. what the will said and how the money and everything, the estate is being split. And and what and, and your mom is saying had. it's not right. Good. So she's aware of it. She's very aware and not happy. And Monty came to me. I knew she wouldn't be happy. No, she's not happy. And Monty came to me right after, two weeks after she died. Did you get a check from the life insurance company? Oh, you're going to like it. I never got a check. Mark never got a check. So I asked Monty, and it's Monty. It's his way. We can't talk about it. It's his way, and that's it. Yeah, but We're it's selling the house. No. And we, and, and legally, he can't. Your mom is saying, no, no, no. Okay. And I would think legally you can't do that. You have to. Who who did the will? And a he, law firm? He, and, and the trust was written really bad because she put in it that Monty could sell the house, but she also put in it that Mark could live there. But she didn't say put in there. She, when she added that Mark could live there, she didn't take out the part that, that if yeah. Monty, Mark wanted, wanted to, to stay, it. Monty can't sell it. Yeah. So if Monty got Mark out of the house, then he could sell it. So what kind of an attorney wrote this will? It Lousy. was writ it was horrible. Lousy, and I hired that's... an attorney to look at it and he's like, This is the most screwed up yeah. thing in the world. Yeah. And you can tell her I I think she came to me and I was like, you know, she had all this money and set it up in a really bad way, but whoever s set that up for her didn't treat her right. And when she set it up, she had enough money to yeah. take care of us. And that's why it was the 5%. And that's yeah. why. So then I got a lawyer where I could get a reverse mortgage, pay Monty off his $200,000, yeah. and then Monty would sign the house over to Mark and me, and we'd have a place to live yeah. for cheap. And if Mark gets a job, he could put his whole paycheck in the bank. And I can save money living there, and, and now it's fifteen hundred dollars for one bedroom apartments. Yeah, and I've got this house yeah. that I'm being forced out of. Your mom and, is so upset. And, and just hire a good attorney, fight it. She's just saying, I've got one. Family can't be falling apart. You need to stand united and fight it. Okay. Stand united and fight. She's saying that's not how it was meant. No, I know it's that's not how, not how it was how meant. It's meant. And he, Monty won't talk to us. It's his way or that. That's what she wanted. No. And she's she came interesting because she wasn't close to him compared to you. She was closer to you than yeah, him. Yeah, I was. She's the telling me she was closer to you than him. Right, but he was always the responsible one. Well, and that's I why see. She I see that. why she did that. I yeah, hear I why I she's doing that. Now, you right. used to be a drunk, so. She right. did give it to him because he wasn't. Well, he's a hidden drunk. Well, but in her but mind, not, he but, wasn't. Right, I know. I know. <laughs> what she should have done is changed it. I know. And she didn't. All right. That's sad. Um, but I really felt her presence when I was thinking. Cause tell her I'm not angry with her about not leaving us a lot she, of money. She knows that. She says there's nothing she can do about it at this point, but she yeah. knows you're not. And, and that, that you're, you're angry at your brother. Very much. Yeah, is what she's saying. Yeah. Yeah, and she does not blame you for that. She gets it. But she said she should have been smarter. And she paid attention, been. and she didn't. And she was never a good businesswoman. No, but she didn't <laughs> even think about matter. it. I know, but her love was much greater than it. I, I don't care about the money. No, but at this point, it's not fair for one brother to well, have it all. I thought she would feel bad because she wanted to leave us more than she did. 
and I don't want her to feel bad about that. Yeah, she's saying it is what it is. There's, yeah. I she's agree. saying she can't do anything about that. And Moni, too, she came to me a couple of years ago. We have this beautiful cabin that mm -hmm. I would love for you to go to. I'd love to have you up there. You, and you were telling me it has a, it's on a vortex. Yeah. But she came to me a couple of years ago, and she set up in the trust money for Monty, Mark, and Clay and money for the cabin. And she told me she spent the money for the cabin that we need to find a way to pay for it. Okay. I'm the one who takes care of the cabin, who loves the cabin, yeah. who goes to the cabin. Yeah. And she was the second most person that loved the cabin and my dad. Okay. And so she's like, we maybe should start renting it out to pay for it. So I took that over and did that. So, and the cabin's doing very well. I'm taking care of it. I'd like her to know if she knows the new floor is going in. She's uh, she's laugh, laughing. She's happy about all of that. Okay, Your dad good. loves it. Oh my Your dad, dad loves it. Over it. He is. He's he's saying it needed improvement. It and needed I, some work. He loves it. And and it should be rented out. He says, when it's not being used, it should make money. I agree. And he's it saying is. yes. So that is a good, good thing. So he's there too. He's on board with all of this. Good. He's unhappy with your brother. Yeah, so they now. Both are. And she did put in the trust, and I am the manager of the cabin. Oh, good. And I get a letter from Monty's lawyer saying, I have to get out of the house or I'm going to be evicted. And if I don't give over all the money that I've raised for the cabin, he's going to take me to court. And Judy, I drove to that cabin 22 times before we had a cleaning lady. Drove to Denver, clean it, and drove back. And we charged $150 for a cleaning fee. And my mother said, you ought to take that money. And I said, no, I want that money to go to the cabin. I have not taken a dime of the money the cabin's made. Yeah. Because I don't want to. It's for the cabin. And now my asshole brother, Monty, wants to take all the money and control it. And I'm... No, don't let him. I'm not going to let him. Don't let him. Your mom's court. saying no, no, no. I know. And I am going, I'm painted the outside, I'm putting in a new floor, I put in new heaters, I'm going to put in new beds, I'm going to change the carpet, I'm going to yeah. do the redo the kitchen top, yeah. and make it good for another 25 years. Yeah, yeah. Your mom is saying yes, you and your dad both are you're cheering and saying yes, that's what it needs. Don't right. let your brother touch it. Okay. It's not his. I know. It's not really. Cabins. Yeah. You know what? He's got an argument, and Monty's like, we've got to sell the house to pay for the cabin for generations to come. He doesn't go there. <laughs> Thank you. She's telling me he doesn't go there. I know. Your mom's saying he never really liked it there. What does he do for a living? He worked for the phone company, AT&T, or his Mountain Bell, which turned into AT&T, yeah. which turned into CenturyLink. Then he quit that, and now he's taking blood from people with the blood. They go around do blood Blood drives. banks. Yeah. It's nice. the name of the company. Yeah. Hmm. And his wife is not friendly. Hmm. I'm so sorry. You have no idea how many times I hear this. People fighting over stuff. Well, it just, you know, he keeps saying that's what she wanted, and I knew, I could, I could feel it. She was but angry. But he's telling me that. She's telling me that he knows better. That's not what she wanted. I know. And I think that's part of his wife. I don't know for sure. But She's telling me yes. Not all. Because he's a part of it. Mm -hmm. He's not standing up to it. But it, it, she does have a big say in it. Yeah. She's greedy. She wants more. Because he's not making much money. That's not the point. I know. That's not the point. You follow the will. But your mom screwed up because she never really read it right or never understood it because it's mixed messages. It was written horribly. Yeah. Whoever wrote it for her did a horrible job. Yeah. And she trusted whoever wrote it yeah. for her. Yeah. And she didn't know. No. And I picked up on that. Yeah. That's cool. I wished you would have, two years ago, looked at it and made her go get it redone. I know. 
you know, but her death, it was like one day everything was fine, and the next day she's got weeks and months to live. And, yeah, I know. And my, I, I just didn't want to dive into it. I should have. You should have. I made my mom. My mom was in that same boat. Her will wasn't written exactly right, so it cost her money to go to the attorney and change it. And I made her go and change a few things. Put in the clause that whoever fights this gets nothing. That was the one clause because I had two siblings that I knew were going to fight. So sometimes you got to do that. So it teaches you to make your will very clear. Can you ask my dad if he knew the Broncos won Super Bowl? <laughs> He's laughing. He says, of course. <laughs> That was my thing. I when I could talk with him, I wish I would have asked him more. That I love him very much, and I miss him a lot. He knows this. And uh, he knows this. And I miss playing oh hell with him. He and knows. Her. He he misses he misses you guys, but he also knows that you guys miss him. Okay, I still good. can't get over. It. I thought he was an eye doctor. Yeah. Uh, must be another client. Oh, I know who it is. It's the doctor that I read for her dad was the eye doctor. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what your dad ever did. I guess I never asked. Hmm. No, he's been gone a while. But he's saying he's good and he still watches over you, but not like your mom has been. <laughs> yeah. Your mom's got her thumb on things, she's saying, because she's not liking what's going on. Okay, good. I'm yeah. just, I knew she knew what was going on, but that was kind of my purpose. Not my whole purpose of coming yeah. here, but I wanted to make a big sure part of she it. knew. But she's also telling me she doesn't think your brother's as happy in that home as he says he is. I know he's not. Okay, well, I'm just telling you what she said. That she thinks he's being... T that he, he's Somebody's telling him to say it. That he's got friends and wants to stay. Now, I don't know whether it's his son or his brother. Has she? I'm sure she can see where he's, the room he's in. She doesn't like it. Yeah. She doesn't like it. And, and, and you were starting to help him. He was listening to you. So she doesn't like where he's at. Because he really isn't getting help anymore. Well, and here's a connection between my mom loved and helped people all the time. And yeah, I, she did. I, I am, the of her three sons, I'm the son that has that same trait. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I've had people say, just, he doesn't want to help himself, don't help him. I'm like, I have to. It's your brother. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes they don't, and you just do what you got to do. Can we ask her how her transition was? Easy. She's telling me easy. Yeah. Did she see me when she left? Oh, of course. She's saying, you know she did. You knew it. <laughs> she says, you knew it. Asked her if she liked her funeral. <laughs> she she's saying yes more more than she thought. Did she not think it would be a big of uh, a good funeral or something? No, it was fantastic. Yeah, but she's I, saying I knew more she than she was there. I thought yeah, she was more than she thought. I she thought didn't she expect so much about the music. <laughs> <sighs> she's actually saying it was very nicely done. It was very nicely yeah. done and more than she thought. Tell her that make that makes me happy, Mom, that you Yeah. Did she like her video? Yes. Okay. Yes. You did very nice with that. Yeah, no, she definitely was there. I know she was there. <laughs> <laughs> They're funny. They like to come to their funeral always I and know. watch it. And I, I had we had a really good funeral for she's my dad saying, too. She's saying hers was really good, more than she expected. Good. I'm not sure yeah. what she expected, but she's saying it was more than. Good. Oh, because some of her friends had passed. Too many of them. Yeah. So, I guess she just thought that nobody would be there. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, but she's saying she didn't think anybody would be there. I know, but... Yeah. Tell her they talked about her in church, about her transition, how she accepted it. She probably knows that. She knows. She was there. Okay. <laughs> she would know. She was there. She's telling me, because I assume nobody will be there for mine, and she's telling me that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so she's talking to me, telling me, and I'm like, what? I got a while to go yet. <clears throat> um, wow. Has she seen her mom and dad? Of course. Everybody. Okay. Everybody. Yeah. And she's happy. She is. She is. With all of that. 
not happy at this. Right. She's saying, you just never know how it's going to be until it happens. When you assume everybody's going to get along and follow the will and and love She's each so other, weird. take care of each other. But I have to tell you, nine times out of ten, it doesn't work that way. God, nine so times weird. out of ten, there's fighting. Well, and there's no... It, it's like, what happened to him? I mean... Greed. It's always green. And, and there's something. That's why I want to know about the life insurance because I was starting to tell you. He's like, oh, you're going to get a check. You're going to really like it. And we never got a check. No. And so then when I asked him, I go, well, so how much was that check for, Monty? And he goes, oh, it's three thousand dollars. And I'm -uh. like, you expect me to believe our mother took out a life insurance policy -uh. for three thousand mm dollars, -hmm. and he will not reveal. That. It's got I, no one heard it's about more than three hundred thousand. I would yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, hundred a piece, yeah. at least a hundred a piece. Yeah, she's showing me a lot more than that. Yeah, and I think Great Western. She keeps talking about Great Western. Is that a life insurance company? Great Western. Yeah. She keeps saying the words Great Western. I'll bet it is. I'm going to look I don't know. It. Look into it. But your brother has to show you. I know. And I'm going to call my lawyer tomorrow. Yeah, you need to push. Because know. he got the he got a check. And I think... I get your mom saying he's stealing. He's taking. So the life insurance... Great the Western. Benefit, that's, that's what she keeps telling me. Great Western. Okay. So I don't know if the, what she means by that. I'm no, assuming Great Western Life Insurance. Like I was hoping to get something. Okay, well, like she keeps saying Great Western, so it might be a life insurance company. Can I write that on the back of your card? Yeah. So I don't forget it. You okay. won't. It's on the tape. Oh. But yes. <laughs> but yes, you I can write it. About, I forgot about the tape. <laughs> but yes. Great Western Life. Mutual Life. I don't know. Great Western Mutual Life or Life. Something. Okay. Life okay. or mutual life. It's it's something like that. But she's saying Great Western. Okay. Look it up. But she's saying your brother has to show you. I By know. law, he has to. I know. So you but need. He's not. I know, but so you need an attorney that's going to push it. Okay. Take it to I, court or one. something. Tell her I've got a really good attorney. She knows. She's saying you need to move forward with it. Okay. Before he kicks you out of the house and sells it and whatever. Okay. Okay. She says, don't wait until he does all that. Because she says he's being sneaky. So like he could have it up for sale and you wouldn't even know. So you don't want that to occur. Okay. And your brother needs to come home. She's saying your brother needs to come back home. He doesn't need to waste all that money on that home. Yes. Um, tell her I'm, she probably knows I'm taking care of Misty. Is this a dog? Yeah. Yeah. She loved that dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She expected you to. Yeah. Okay, so that's no surprise to her. She expected <coughs> you to. And Misty sees her when she's there in the house. She does. Yes, yeah, she says Misty sees her. Oh, looks at God, her. That is awesome. Looks at her, looks up at her. Yeah, so she sees her. Yeah. What kind of dog is she? Little. Keyshond? I don't no. know what that is. but Keyshond is a... They kind of look like, um, you know what a Norwegian elk sounds like? Uh-huh. Yeah. They kind of look like Norwegian elk Okay, so bigger. With longer hair, yeah. medium size. Yeah, okay. Did she have a little dog at one yeah, point? Yeah, buddy. She's got the dog. She's talking about the little dog that she's got. Oh, she's got the little dog in heaven? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Well, buddy's still alive. Still, oh, still alive? Well, who has the little dog? That's a good question. Because she's saying, she talked, when you said, I've got the dog... And she says, what about my little dog? I don't know Where's what she means by that. Buddy. I think the oh, okay. one that's still alive. Okay. Where's he? He's at home. Oh. He loves me dearly. So you've got him. Yeah. Okay. So I just said, she says you're. she knows you've got the dog, and you went to the big one. She's talking about the little lap dog. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got it. She had two. Right. <laughs> she had two. Yeah, no, she expected you to take care of him. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't even a question. She right. expected it. Yeah. What else? See, I knew you were going to ask me this. God, I miss her so well, much. Well, people come with questions. I know. 
And I kind I, of think, hello, she was alive. We didn't. Why didn't you ask her all of this while well, she was I did. alive? I was very, very close to my mother. But you didn't ask her the important stuff about the will. I know. I made my mom sit down and pull out her will and go through I, it. And I should have. And you I should have. I did a few things because she. I made her put in there that the cabin couldn't be sold unless all four, three of his brothers agreed. And thank yeah. goodness I put that in. Yeah, because. But then you know, you'll all never of a sudden, agree to it. You know, she got had weeks to months to live and I was busy taking care of her and that was more I important. know but you should have done it I you know hindsight's have. always 20 I know this experience for you is for you to learn don't do that to your right. daughter so what do they do what do you mean what is she doing uh, yeah nothing right now <laughs> resting she was tired she's saying she was really really tired right. so she might not do anything for our lifetime of a year or two watching over seeing how things are going right. you know then they do what's known as a life review where they look over their life and see what they could have done better right. could have done different right. she's telling me she hasn't done that yet she's not ready for that yet um, and it's not done out of judgment it's done out of pure love of you know you came here to learn this and if you had done this you could have learned that but she tells me the life review takes a long time and she doesn't have the energy for that yet Mention Aunt Jan and Aunt Beth. And what about them? Aunt Jan just died. It was just like a month recently. ago. Recently. Yeah. She says recently. Yeah. Yeah. Who has the tiff with them? With her? Aunt Jan. So who's, who's upset with her? I don't know. Is this your mom's sister? My dad's brother's wife. Okay, okay. Somebody on her side of the family that she was arguing with, your mom's telling me. Anyway, her passing wasn't as easy as your mom's. There was some health stuff. Yeah. So, but yes, your mom sees her. And Aunt Beth is happy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, most people are happy when they get out of this body I and know. they move I beyond. Know. They don't have to be stuck here on this planet with all this garbage all that's right. going on. Most of them are happy. They just get upset when they look down and see what Has the family's she doing. Seen Jim Coates? Oh, she's telling me no, not yet. Who's that? That was a cousin of mine who I think he died of cocaine when he was about thirty. Long okay, time she's ago. saying no, not yet. Long time ago. Yeah. She's saying a long time ago. Yeah. 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 No. Not yet. So, uh, any, does she have any advice for me? Yeah, call that a lawyer and push. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Call the attorney and push. Okay. She wants it done the way she wanted it. Okay. You know? She doesn't want you and your brother out of that house. Right. Unless you guys want to go. No. She's saying the intention was for you guys to stay there if you wanted to. I know. But see, your brother's being told he has to or... Or he's somehow being manipulated. He is. That's what she's telling me. He's being manipulated. And friends, they're telling him he's got friends. He's showing me he stays in his room a lot. Yeah. So he doesn't have friends. No. He's better off with you. Because <coughs> you were you were trying to help him. I know. And it was familiar. He doesn't do well with changes. Yeah. And strange things. Yeah. He doesn't have friends. And this is an assisted living? Yeah. So it's well, like a just, house that they, has a, a few other a, people? apartment as big as this room, and they cook dinners. And they play right. bingo at noon, and he likes it. Oh, I, I'm, you know, enjoying playing bingo. Well, that's well, going to get old in two months. He might enjoy yeah. playing bingo, but... And he's not the only one there, but the others there seem a lot older. They're way older. Yeah, and your mom's saying they, they're a lot older. And some of them have Alzheimer's, and you know, so your brother doesn't really fit in with them. No. They're not really friends. Your brother's not that old, and he's not where he can't take care of himself. That's right. So he doesn't really belong there because he can take care of himself. The others actually need help. Right. Yeah. He might not want to cook his meals, but he could. <laughs> right. <laughs> if he's not lazy. Yeah, no, he doesn't belong there. Your mom's not happy. 
Your dad's even saying it wasn't supposed to be this way, it wasn't supposed to be this way. Yeah. Wow. But even though you guys are not talking to Monty, your mom's saying this has to be fixed. Okay. Tell her I will do my best. Yeah, she's just saying, she's already been gone quite a while. She's saying, fix it before he sells that house. Okay. And you end up on the street. Because she doesn't think you'll get the money. So even if he sold it, he'd lie about how much money and you wouldn't get it. See what she's saying? Yeah. She's saying he's stealing and lying is what she says. Stealing and lying. You know, families aren't supposed to be that way. You're supposed to, you know, your will needs to be, your mom should have put the will out there and said this is how it's going to go. what she wanted. No, you're not. But see, y'all should have sat down together. He won't talk to us. It's his way or the No, your mom should have sat down with all three of you and said, this is how I want this. My mom didn't either. Those generations hid things. Me, I already sat down with my kids and said, this is what's in my will. That my will is in there. You go read it anytime you want, but this is what it says. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It's sad. I just wrote my brother's will. You can do it on the internet. So I did his living will and trust and wrote it up the way he told me, took it back over, told him, go through it, see if I did exactly the way he wanted. He tweaked a couple of things. I got it back. I made the changes, and next week we'll go see a, the bank and get it notarized. He didn't want a lawyer because the lawyer screwed up my mom's. Yeah, one hundred and nineteen dollars on the internet versus five thousand yeah. plus yeah. for my mom's. I did mine the same way. Yeah, yeah. You've only got one kid, though, right? Right. I only see one. Yeah. So yours is easier if you leave everything to her. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. Yeah, complicated. Your mom's saying it's all too much for her and complicated. She wasn't raised to discuss legal matters and financial stuff, whatever. She she wasn't raised to do that, she's saying. Yeah. What else? I don't know what else. Um, I'm glad she's happy and I miss the hell out of her. And She knows that. And Christmas she, was really hard. Yeah. I bet she Tell her empty. this. I got. Tell her I'm going to write her friends to let her know she's gone. But she watches me. She'll, she'll know that anyway. But yeah. I just. She's Christmas, watching everything you do, it seems like. <laughs> Christmas Day, I was going to. She got all these Christmas cards, and they obviously didn't know she had passed. Yeah. And I got a letter from her friends saying, I didn't get a Christmas card from you. And I. On Christmas Day, I was going to write all those people, and I just couldn't do it. Did they so, not come to her funeral? I think they live in other places. Oh. But they obviously, none of those people knew that she no. crossed. Yeah, no, you need to. So, so I'm, glad her, I'm glad her transition was good. She's saying it was easy. I know. And it, I felt, I thought I'd feel really sad, but it was okay. You actually were ready. at peace. You, She was ready and you were at peace. Was yeah. she at home? Yeah. She's sewing right me at home. Her. Yeah. Sitting right next to her. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. She's saying you knew. Oh yeah. 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 She said she was at home. She said it was peaceful. Well, tell her her son is going to kick some ass this she year. She hears you. She's standing <laughs> right behind you. She okay. hears you. Mom, you need I'm to do really good. I do, and I'm I'm feeling very confident. Yeah. And Dad, that's coming from you. Yeah. Wow. Your mom's saying. Your mom says you've always been a very kind, gentle soul, so she hopes this time you'll push a little harder for I, this. I, 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 Cause this is I will, don't worry. Because this is for you and your brother. This yeah. is not just for you. Yeah. You don't like to fight or make waves, so you I, tend to back down a bit. Yep. That's what she's telling me, but she's saying this time you got to have you got to have the guts to move forward. I will. This is not That's right. one thing that I have become, Mom, I've become way more confident since you've gone. And yeah. the one big thing through all this is I've been a nice guy. and People have shit on me and taken advantage of me. Yeah. And that ain't happening she, no more. She's saying no more. No, I, and I get that. Yeah, she she's saying the bigger, the, the part that she worries about is because you've always been nice. You've never started fights. You don't right. ever participate in them. You don't. 
right. don't create all of that. You'll tend to walk away. Right. She's saying, but this time don't, please. I won't. Fight for your brother. <laughs> if not for you, do it I'm for your brother. Do it for both of us. She's saying it needs to be. And I'm going to do my best. This is to one help of your her. final, what, not final, but she's saying yes, one of your final big lessons is to learn you're worthy. Stand up for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So she's saying you're worthy. Stand up for you and for what's right. Right. Yeah. So. Well, I love you, Mom. I miss you. She knows. Keep watching. She says you know, she knows that the house is different without her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I can Very feel different. her. Yeah. She visits a lot. I know. I can tell. <laughs> yeah. It makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. She'll come anytime you call her. She's just think of my name or think of me or call me and I'll come. Okay. She says she has no problems with that. You know, the first couple of years, they're around a lot. Right. Then after that, it starts to be less and less and right. less. And right. Yeah. Yeah. But she misses you equally. Conversations. You guys had long conversations. She's saying you talked about everything. I did. Anything and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And she misses that. I miss that, too. Yeah. Because you can't do that with your brother. No. Why not? <sighs> Which one? The one that was living in the house, Mark. Yeah, I try to, but he... He doesn't. He, he's shut down. Yeah, he doesn't. But I'm going to yeah. do my best to help him. This yeah. is giving yeah. me the boost I need. Yeah. Well, I hope so, because she feels really bad that Monty is turned out the way he has. I know. Sad. Yes. You know, it's sad that people do that. I know. Oh, wow. Any I'd other like questions about life? Shuffle and think about what you want to know. Well, the last time we did this, um, it, it was so spot on me. It was unbelievable. No oh, good. So can I shuffle them? Please. Did your father have life insurance? I don't know. I, I would think he did, but it probably went to her. It did, but it mm, was the same company. So if you could find paperwork in the house of whose his was, the policy was taken out with the same company. So that might help you. I don't know. She says your brother has to show you. So I don't know whether it's worth he going He does, and I've asked him, and I'm about ready. I don't know whether it's worth going through the house looking for it or if it's just better to get the attorney to yeah. make him produce the paperwork. Yeah. You know, go to court or whatever. So, God, look at the money and the worries already right out the door. So let me tell you what I see with all of this. Let me finish spreading it. Okay, so the first thing that I get is new beginnings. New beginnings because mom's gone, so of course you're in a whole new chapter of your life. You're doing a lot of mental thinking, especially about the money. Look at the money. The money would be a new start if you guys could have the money because it would help take care of you, okay? But you've got fears and worries around it with the changes because you've got a money-hungry brother. You've got a money-hungry brother that's causing the worry and trying to make the changes, trying to take the money. Here's the other brother, Mark, who's not money-hungry. He's in his head but out of his head, if that makes sense. Totally. So he's not trying to, but he's part of the change. So you've got a lot of fear with both of these, fears and doubts, because you can't get on the right path that would open up the doors because of the money-hungry one. So the, the problem is, is it's going to be hard for you to have your new beginnings 
um, until you make the changes, which is the attorney forcing the changes. And when you do that, then it feels like things will shift. But you've got to have the attorney. Because it feels like that's the only way you're going to get Monty to show the paperwork. Right. But you already know the will if you know that the will says in one hand Mark can live in the house as long as well, he wants, if, but the other hand that it can be if, sold. If Mark comes back, they can't sell the house. Oh, well, that's why they got, got him out of there. The you do. You do. So you're going to have to ask your mom, dad, and the angels to help you get him back home. Okay. Ask him, hello, I need help down here. You start talking to him and push him. Time to go home, time to go home. You'll play bingo with him or whatever it is he's playing. So I need to ask my mom and dad and the angels. Mom, dad, angels, I need some help down here. Help me get Mark back home. Okay. Help all of this to get worked out the way you guys wanted it. That Mark and I can live in the house. Help us, we need some help. Okay. Yeah. Call in 50 angels if you think you need that many. <laughs> Archangel Michael saying that's a bit overdone. Okay, <laughs> call, call in 10 angels to help you get this done. You have to have trust. Okay? They will do it if you trust, if you believe. Does that make sense? Yeah. Simple stuff, simple stuff. I was in California over the weekend doing a fair. Last minute thing where they called and asked me to come because the other girl was sick. My daughter went with me. We rented a rent a car from Avis Thursday to Friday. The fair started Friday at 3, so we wanted to be able to have a car until the fair. And we went up through Malibu and all, all around. Came back, dropped the car at Avis, which was two blocks from the hotel. We didn't want to take the shuttle from Avis to the airport and then the hotel from the airport. That too, too much time. We didn't have enough time. We sightseed too much. So we thought we would walk the two blocks. And we're pulling her little suitcase that had some food we'd stopped to pick up. And I'm asking Archangel Michael, Michael, please help us get there fast, efficient, with ease. I didn't want to walk it. It was too far, and it was hot, and it was getting late. It was going to take us 20 minutes, the Google said. So I said, just help us, please. Fast, efficient, you know. As soon as I said that, and I said, thank you. As soon as I did that, one of the Avis workers comes up, and he says, can I help you guys? And we're like, yeah, how do we get out of here? What are you trying to do? Get to our hotel, the Hilton. Well, you don't want to walk that. I'll take you. Get in the car. I'll drive you. He drove us to the Hilton. Fast, efficient, quickly. See what I mean? I asked. I believed. I didn't know how I was going to go. I just believed. Right. You need to do the same. Right. Ask. And I asked, just like I'm talking to you. But this is saying, don't be indecisive. You're indecisive about how to get your brother home. Don't be indecisive. Just get him home. There's some fear in there. Just ask the angels, show me what to do. Show me what to do. Help me do this to get Mark back home. He's really better off. If he stays in the nursing home, I'm hearing he's going to age very quickly. I agree. He'll age very quickly by being with them. And I, when I walked away, I was like, my brother's gone unless I can get him out Because of they're all gone. I know. <laughs> yeah. They're old. They're gone. I know. Yeah, That's and he bad. will. He'll be gone. He'll be dead in less than a year if he stays there. Yeah. So it's time to bring him back home. Okay. You know? He's not mentally all together anyway, but bringing him back home, he'll live a little bit longer. Okay. Okay? He's not going to get help for the depression. I don't think he understands that he has it, and I don't think he wants to go to dredge it all up at this point in his life. How old is he? 66. Okay, yeah. I'm just hearing he doesn't really want to dredge it all up. He doesn't really know what it's about. He's hidden from it for so long. He doesn't really know. He wouldn't call you depre him depressed. He would just say he's sad or quiet or lonely. He would come up with all of that. Life didn't turn out how he thought it would. And that might be the crux of his So the best depression. way for me to, I mean. Just say, you know, Mom wanted you to stay at home. Mom wanted you to live there. Mom wanted you to be in that house. Help with the puppies. Mom wanted you to be here. This is a better place. This is not your and home. I want to try to get him to enjoy life again. Yes, and, but I think you can. I think you can get him to go out and do things. Right. I think, because he's not drinking anymore, right? Right. 
So I think that you can now get him to go do things. But I'm worried if he gets a lot of money, he might go back to that. But if he's with me, he won't. I think if he stays in the house with you, I don't see the drinking. I don't either, but I can see him drinking, stuck in his jail cells. Yes. Call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so no. Just whatever you can do to condition him, Mom wanted you to be at home. Mom wanted you to take care of this house and the dogs. Mom wanted you to be here. We need to stick together. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe his own son turned on him like that. I know, and I was having and his own son lied to me. Yeah, don't and, you hate it. And he goes, "Well, he needs a community." He doesn't have it there. I know, I know he doesn't. What's wrong with and his I son? I can't believe when I walked into the place that they would even think of putting him in there. Well, what's wrong with his son? That his son thinks that know. eighty, ninety-year-olds are his community. So here's a question I yeah. have for you. I have been like, I will say, since I quit drinking, I've become so much closer with God. Mm -hmm. And I've always been close, and I've always been open-minded, and I feel like I'm closer, but I just feel like I'm missing, you know, like the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And I always, you know, I'm trying to work that, but I still have that little doubt, and it's like, get rid of that. Love. And... Love. And... So, Focus on love. That will fix everything. Okay. So when you meditate and you breathe in, breathe in God and love. Breathe out doubt. Breathe okay. in the white so, light. Breathe out doubt. And I've been meditating. I get up a half hour early. And when I don't talk to God in the morning, it's like I feel like I'm not a jewelry guy at all until yeah. you gave me these. Yeah. And when I don't have these on, I feel like I don't have naked. a cell phone. You feel naked, but yeah. It's weird. Yeah. But I love it. No, I get and this it. this morning... Yeah last couple of days going to work I said God just at, let me say the right things and just give love today so keep yeah. working on that yes everything that you want and, is through love yeah and, and always focus on what you want not what you don't have right what you want okay I want my brother back home I want this house to be for my brother and I I'm grateful that mom wrote the will that we could stay here I'm grateful that the attorneys turned it around and we're going to follow the will with us being able to stay home, stay in the house. See what I'm saying? Right. Focus on what you want. Okay. Ask them to help you do that. And see, I but don't But the piece ask. that you're missing is a little bit of lack of trust. You don't totally trust yourself. Okay, so... Trust myself that I can do it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, you don't that totally trust right. that you can do it. And I kind of like, well, I want to see results and then I'll go with that next step. But it's like I feel like I'm just doing it wrong. But, but you're but, not. There's but, no but, wrong. But but see, you, you just kind of explain There's that. no wrong. But literally breathe in love, in through your nose, out through your mouth, out the doubt. In the love, out the doubt. And then when you can just okay. focus... On what you want, it'll happen. Okay. It will happen. You get hung up in some not trusting yourself that you can have it. Right. Yeah. Makes sense? It does. And you're, you totally connect and get it, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and we all have it. We all have it. We it's all just, have it. And I, it's like I feel like I I'm getting closer, it. you know. You are. But it's a matter mm -hmm. of whether you trust. I trust. I know, and I don't. Yes, and that's, that's the I, only difference. You, you cracked me up when you. I said I want to send you the coffee cup. It's yeah. my favorite coffee cup now. Oh, you good. Know, I love it. I don't seat. drink coffee, but I drink Coke or water <laughs> yeah. out of it. So. But you, you wrote me, he goes, you didn't have to make me a coffee cup. And I didn't make it for you. I made it for me. Oh. I just thought you might have liked to have it. I love it. <laughs> Which, speaking of, I'm doing t-shirts. Yeah. And I would love to make you a t-shirt. I'll make you a t-shirt. I don't even know what. It. I don't even know what you would put on it. Well, no, I would want you to tell me what oh, you would. Oh, I'd want have on to it. think on that. Think I on that. No. Yeah. Yeah. And I designed this one. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. I feel very confident. I'm on my next business venture. Maybe the answer is love is the answer to all. Yeah. 
I don't know. That's what I keep hearing. Love is the answer well, to everything. It, it, I I get that. You, so you write and, it out, however, but love I, is the answer. And I have been, people have taken advantage of me because I've been, that's who I am. Yes, but and maybe look at it differently so it doesn't feel so advantage of. Isn't it great that I have a loving, giving, caring heart? Isn't it great that I'm the one that chooses to give? Yeah. And isn't it great and that I know when to put the roadblocks up? And there's nothing greater than to give. No. And to but, love. But you want to see it as not the victim. Right. Because, see, when you say they take advantage of me, that's the victim. You don't want to be the victim. Right. Isn't it great that I'm the one that chooses to give? Right. And isn't it great that I know when to stop? That's a good way to put it, know when to stop. Yes. Yeah. You're awesome. So, okay. We're good? We're good.